Okay, uh, so I'm going to solve uh, three of these on this YouTube video and post the answers to all six of them as a PDF on it. And uh, the first three are kind of like the second three, and I'll describe that a little more at the end. But anyways, let's uh, take a look at the first two-column proof here. Obviously, the first reason will be given. Where did that statement come from? I gave it to you. Uh, this statement, AC, AC is really AB plus BD. What does that mean when the longer segment is made up of the two little segments added together? That is the segment addition postulate. Uh, if I'm going to make a segment addition postulate statement about AC, I might as well make a similar segment addition postulate about BD. BD is really BC plus CD. More segment addition postulate. Now, how do I take all of these statements and go to that statement? Well, I'm basically going to rewrite this statement, substituting this in for the left-hand side, substituting this in for the right-hand side. So, I made a couple of substitutions there. And then to go from this equation to what I'm trying to prove, I can just subtract BC from both sides of this equation. So when you subtract something from both sides, that's subtraction property of equality. Okay. The problem number one is extremely similar to problem number five uh, only instead of segments we're looking at angles uh, the answers will be posted to its learning as a PDF by the time you're watching this video so you can check that out but uh, two column proof number one and two column proof number five are extremely similar all right, two column proof number two. Okay, we have uh, some given information to start off. Okay. Now, when something is equal to itself, that is reflexive. Property of equality. So where did statement number three come from? Statement number three is really statement number one rewritten with the same thing added to both sides. So I added uh, CAD to both sides of the equation of number one. So when you add something to both sides, that is the addition property of equality. I'm trying to prove something about the measure of angle BAD. When I look at my picture here, I see that that is really made up of two little angles added together. So angle addition postulate talks about the big angle equals the two little ones. So let's make that as a statement. Measure of angle BAD equals the measure of angle BAC. plus the measure of angle CAD. This statement right here is about the other big angle, CAE. It's really made up of its two little parts, so that one is also going to be the angle addition postulate. And then uh, if I rewrite, let me get the colorful underlining going on here, if I rewrite statement number three, substituting in this fact 
for the left hand side and this fact for the right hand side that gets me exactly to where I want to go. So the measure of angle BAD equals the measure of angle CAE. Basically, once again, I've rewritten statement number three, substituting statement number four in for the left side, substituting statement number five in for the right side. And uh, there's another problem that looks very similar to this, only with segments. And that's number four. So number four is very, very similar to number two uh, with segments instead of angles. And then last one for this video, uh, two column proof number three is very, very similar to two column proof number six. Uh, the solutions will once again be on its learning. Let's watch the action, shall we? So the uh, first two statements are given to us. Let's make that a little nicer. Oh yeah, that's much better. Uh, what does it mean to be a linear pair? Well, it means the angles are supplementary. So we got a little uh, definition of linear pair here. And if I'm going to say that about angles 1 and 2, I might as well make a similar statement for angles 2 and 3. Measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 add together to equal 180. Definitional linear pair. And then transitive, well, if this equals 180 and that equals 180, then we can set those two things equal to each other by transitive property. So the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3. And then we're almost to where we want to be. We want to be where measure of angle 1 equals measure of angle 3. And I can get there directly from this step by subtracting the measure of angle 2 from both sides. So uh, definitely uh, re-watch this video if you need to, pause it if you need to uh, give yourself a moment. I know I was writing pretty quick because I wanted this video to be pretty short. Um, okay, hopefully I will be feeling better and back for Wednesday.